Hello, hello everybody, it's Web Prof Chof, and we're back again with a new video. This is YouTubers who accidentally found terrifying things. I don't know why I clicked on this, but I guess horror games today and horror YouTube videos. Let's go. Horror is Connor the theme Kelly of the day. Connor and his family were exploring the McCoy Mine Connor. in Nevada. Or an abandoned mine shaft. brought a kid to explore abandoned mine shafts. Okay. In the desert, with the portion okay. of the entrance still accessible, the group begins to travel through the depths of the mine and begin their exploration. At least I like how they're using it as a body shield. Put the kid first, eh? Anything bad happens, the you can always make another kid. very large, with a few artifacts still <laughs> present from when it was functional years ago. All right. The group stays quiet as they don't want to risk the sound dislodging any rocks from the ceiling. However, it's not long. By the way, kid in the group. Long before they approach Just saying. something that demands discussion. Which is? I know it's something reflecting back at me. Oh yeah, there is something there. The reflection? They're trying to check it out. The rock is very loose. Oh. I realize why they are. I got chills. Those shoes. The group finds a large pile of children's sized shoes and bones. Ooh, that's a rip cage. Okay. Okay, I think it's about to go the other the way. Suddenly gets and call the police. Hey, is that a gun? Okay, listen, I've shot guns. I've shot guns in closed space with ear protection. Well, I think I can tell you is that. And from what I've read about past wars that are in mine shafts and stuff like that, you don't want to shoot a gun in a place like this without your protection. Now, it's better to have a gun than not have a gun if something attacks you. But still, eardrums. Stands uh, back because they're unsure what to do from here. You know, one member of the group even pulls a gun, fearing for nearby predators deeper in the cave. Okay, that's. Or quite I don't think those are the predators they're worried about. Human. After a brief discussion and inspecting the pile of shoes a little closer, the group advances a little bit further, where a dead end is why, found. Why would you advance further? Okay, listen, this could all be fake. Let's be honest. Nowadays, like half the shit's probably fake on the internet. But if this is a real situation, I imagine the best thing to do is get out of the cave immediately, call the police, be like, hey, we found bones and kids' shoes. Something's happening. Fuckery is around. And the floor is Help. scattered with more bones. Oh, Further those investigation look animal from viewers bones. of the video mentioned that the bones don't appear to be human. Mm. It's more likely that these bones were a result of animal carcasses from predators such as mountain lions who might have feasted on their food within the cave. Mm. The children's shoes, however, are a completely different story. Well, there is no. If there is a town nearby, a lot of. Listen, animals are assholes. They yoink shit. Like raccoons steal shit. The foxes, they yoink shit. Cats, uh, they're smaller. They don't really do that. But it could be an animal just yoinking shoes. Why would they do it? I don't know. Animals are dumb as hell. So they do stuff. Definite explanation for this. And I don't think there ever will be. However, the leading theory is that these were trophies collected from a serial killer. <laughs> Collecting items. I highly doubt it's a... That, that is a lot of shoes. If somebody killed that many children, somebody would notice. I hope. God damn, I hope. victims isn't unheard of, with a very famous legend in Michigan claiming that a mysterious tree dangling children's shoes was also decorated by a serial killer. If you look at the shoes, they also appeared to be tethered differently. Some shoes look so worn like they've been there for decades, there while in others only a few years old. These shoes weren't dumped here all at once. It's a collection that had been built for some time. The family leaves, and no conclusions have been met. I imagine they call the police, right? That's the thing you do. A YouTuber by the name Dateline420 Dateline was hiking in the woods in the border of a park in Suffolk County, New York. New York. Here he stumbled across what he believed to be the end of somebody's property, as there was a shed and a fire pit, as There's well as the tent. sound of cars in the distance. Directly outside, where the property line meets the woods, were trees decorated with something harrowing. Anyway, I'll cut right to the chase because I might die. <laughs> so why you record your video? Run, brother. If you're worried Look about your life, run. Are. Says... Missing person photos. Oh. Not one, not two, but dozens of posters detailing missing people were pinned on almost every tree in the surrounding area. 
One might wonder if maybe this was a setup for a video, however making this all more disturbing. These have been confirmed to be real missing people. Oh shit. From the same Taking place? a closer look, Southern these are Oregon. missing person cases from all across the United States oh. and throughout different years, mostly between 2009 and 2013. They also look very old and weathered, as if they've been hung up for quite some time. So these, you can tell, these aren't new. Like, not just that this is 2012, Noblesville, Indiana, right? Look at the fucking tape, look at the water damage. These shits have been hanging up for a, a, a while. Whether this be a serial is. killer's documentation of his murders, or some sick... Okay, I don't think everything is a serial, serial killer, brother. Come on. It's still disturbing, either way. The man then investigated the surrounding area and finds a few more unsettling things. Someone's the been most odd camping. being what appears to be a cage built with binded tree branches and a filled in hole sitting at the center. Huh? The man eventually hears voices and runs away. I mean, where do you hear? It looks like a giant clearing. If you hear voices, you can probably see where they're coming from. And if you start running in a forest where there's nothing else besides you everybody's gonna hear you that you're running you can't run silently in the forest what he reported the findings to the police and after a quick investigation the house adjacent to the campsite claimed that they pinned the photos that they were preparing for an yeah that sounds Halloween more party. logical however if that's the case why do the posters look so old and why was this the only thing set up at least a month before halloween mm -hmm. with hey, many people asking, listen brother i have seen people leave Christmas decorations for a year for the next year. So I can't believe that. Asking it's possible. And Dateline 420, I mean, it could be curious. a serial cure. Listen, we visited the site chances though, I don't think to only find multiple very new, high. no trespassing signs and no indicator for any party or event. Ooh. YouTubers Sam and Colby often make videos featuring Sam themselves and, and a group of friends as they visit haunted locations. I say this with no disrespect, as I think it makes for a more interesting story, however their content is very suited to the seemingly staged side of YouTube horror. Uh, it seems like every abandoned place they go to has some paranormal occurrence, ghosts. and it's hard to imagine that at least some of these aren't staged. Again, I mean, I want to reiterate, they are very entertaining, and they deserve their success for the production they put in. However, one night, they witnessed one of the most terrifying horrors. God damn, homie's got channel, a long ass neck. And they didn't even realize it. Huh? In a video titled Exploring Abandoned Insane Asylum, Girl Good screams, screams. Sam and Scary. Colby, as well as fellow YouTubers The Island Boys, the visited Island an abandoned Boys. asylum hidden in a nearby forest. Why are they running? Typical to the format they have on many videos, <laughs> they explored the abandoned building and swear someone was there with them. Bro, with some of these old ass buildings, are these people now worried that something might fucking collapse? Like this building ha probably hasn't been touched in like 50 years. I literally think there is something downstairs. Whatever thing that you heard earlier. I think that's basically all there is there though to explore. It's just a bunch of rooms. Well then let's go <laughs> just and figure out what's downstairs before it comes up and finds us. They act nervous and walk around cautiously. However, as they're exploring more, they hear police sirens coming from the distance. Thinking that they might be coming for them, as visiting this oh. place is technically trespassing, the group flees the building and stakes out in the nearby woods. Okay, then what did they miss? There are people right in front of us that are not Colby, and they are looking right past us. It's only here that a series of odd occurrences commence that even the YouTubers aren't quite sure what to make of. They notice a few random people entering the building they just left, and a helicopter with active searchlights flying overhead. They oh, run shit. through the woods, trying to make That's their an actual helicopter. when they suddenly hear a blood-curdling scream. Oh. What the f- You hear that? Get out of here! Those ain't no bees in his hands. What the hell is that? That's kind of creepy. The woman continues to scream, and eventually the crew flees the woods Wait. to conclude their latest- Y'all hear a woman screaming in the woods, and your first decision is to flee. Maybe call the police and say, hey, we're here and there is a woman screaming near us. What the hell? I mean, I know this might be, as, as I said, this whole thing might be staged. But... Episode of exploring creepy abandoned like, Come buildings. on, brother. What if it's After an actual this night, something is happening? Video, viewers would begin to get curious and investigate what might have happened that night. And a few weeks later, they would find out that, yes, 
It was something true. happened. This was most definitely oh, shit. not a planned bit by Sam and Cole. All right. If you take a look at this map, the YouTube group was in this forest in early September of 2017. Okay. It was right here on September 13th that the body okay. of Lauren Wallen, a pregnant mother, was found dead in a shallow grave. She had been missing for nine days. Oh, I got goosebumps. Although never confirmed, one can easily imagine where these screams came from on that tragic night in this forest. What the f you hear that? Adventures with Purpose is a YouTube channel. Yeah, so, I mean, as I said, probably the most logical thing would have been to just call the police and be like, hey, yo, we hear the scream. It is this. We are here. The scream is from there. We have phones. You can get your GPS coordinates. I mean, could it have changed anything? We don't know, but it might have. And, you know, that's that's fucked up. Well, that focuses on recovering artifacts from lakes and ponds. Oh, that's cool. These are normally related to true crime cases, whether huh? it be a car from a criminal or an article of clothing from missing people. Oh, the shit. goal of the channel is that's to basically crazy. help out investigations as well as aiding the environment. That's why on May 26 of 2020, the group planned to participate in ago. a mass environmental cleanup. Mm, in a survey cool. of a lake in Portland, Oregon, they Portland, found Oregon. evidence of multiple vehicles that have sunk to the bottom of the lake. On a day where the tide was low, the group built a map pinning general locations to all these vehicles and planned to dedicate the day to retrieving them and cleaning out the waters. They get in their wetsuits and begin navigating the lake, diving down and pinpointing each car detailed in their debriefing. They quickly find the first car and begin preparing for extraction. After attaching the car to a trailer on the land and positioning it to be pulled up a ramp, Adventures with Purpose went live to document a sweet moment in humanity. We're dressed up. A sweet moment in humanity. Before that, like, we can like elbow bump yeah, because <laughs> anyway, we have a car that's coming out right now. We this car today. We're gonna do this whole thing live. Like we've spent last uh, what four or five hours. Oh, yeah. Four or five hours. Damn. this thing out because it was ten thirty. Ten thirty this morning. It's probably it was rusty as hell. Feet deep, and so we're now at the very end of this, and we've never done actual live Here showing somebody bring it to, for us to bring out of the, out of the uh, river. Many individuals were volunteering also. their time awesome. to clean the water, and just as the first car began to emerge from the lake, a chilling discovery would be found. Which is? If they find a body inside, that would be crazy. There it is. <laughs> Alright, let's clean it out. What is it? There's a shoe in there. It's a body, isn't a it? A decomposed body and brother. We're sitting. That's crazy. That's crazy. In the front seat. After I mean, it could have been a call, driving accident. Investigation found that this Timothy body belonged to Timothy Robinson, a man who went missing on November 27th of 2008, Damn. 12 years before this discovery was made. 12 years missing. The family was notified and were relieved to finally have some closure. Ask him for new Timothy Robinson. Well, it's been 20 years since he became missing. This is dad's brother. My dad's brother, my uncle, I want to personally thank you for bringing close to this family. It's been a long time. I can finally put the rest. Thank you. God bless. After so many years. Damn. We we'll know. Exploring with Josh. What exactly happened? Okay. A variety of places. Once found so I assume it was an ex the incident. A giant underground cave. Probably. Incident. This cave in Washington yeah, County is named incident. the Ape Cave and stretches Ape? almost 2.5 miles Ape? long. Damn, Although deep, big -ass cave. the cave is rather open with plenty of room for exploring and walking around. Cool. There's little risk of getting stuck, and it's typically welcoming to amateur spelunkers. Sp Josh and his friends found this encouraging. Spelunkers? Encouraging, however, weren't afraid of taking a little risk to reach less explored sectors of the cave. I've finally seen some sort of writing. I can't really make out what it says. But I think we're going to be kneeling down now. <laughs> I think we're going to have to kneel down. Oh, God. The majority of the 12-minute vlog just features the crew having fun. They right. begin to walk down a corridor that continuously gets smaller and smaller, before each are on their stomachs, inching through the narrow tunnel they found themselves in. 
They continue to question if they should continue, wondering if there's any more to explore as the tunnel gets rather... I'll be honest with you, if I was at this point, I would be like, fuck this shit. I'm, I'm not claustrophobic, but like tight spaces in a cave. I don't know, brother. I don't even know if this leads out anywhere. I think it's just the end. We can be crawling all day. Let's find out. They the even end. reach a point the where they were about to turn back. However, Josh luckily noticed that the tunnel opened up. The crew oh, squeezed brother. through and successfully reached the end of the cave. What they didn't know was that somebody was waiting for them at the end. Okay. Uh, got it. Can I head back now? This girl doesn't have a flashlight. Oh, they found a girl? Can't Wait, what? Take out my phone, actually. English? Sounds like a little girl. You speak English? No English. No? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, uh... Um... Uh-huh. <laughs> what? Come with us? Hey, Josh! Do you see those, uh, the couple that was back there? Come on, come with us. They lost their kid? They, 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 they don't speak... She yeah. doesn't... Listen. I swear to God, some kids need harnesses. You know how people take their dogs out on walks? Yeah, some kids need that shit. What the hell are you doing, you dumbass little girl? It's English. 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 It's okay. You have it's a phone. Right. Translate. This is the way uh, back. <laughs> what an experience. As we were about to leave, this little girl That's comes crazy. up out of nowhere, scares us. And at first we're like, wait, whose parents are hers? And she, there, she was just there alone by herself. Then she just stood there in the back. So I started talking to her, but she wouldn't answer me. And I was like, wait a minute. I don't think she speaks English. It turns out she really didn't speak English at all. She's by herself, crawled the whole way in there by herself. No light. No light. I swear to God, kids are the dumbest creatures on the planet. Light? What the? I don't get it. No what light. What the hell are you doing, you little she girl? She didn't even speak English. Inside one of the deepest sectors of the eight cave That's was crazy. a little girl, noticeably terrified and cautious. Yeah, I wonder why. There's the like 15 dudes pointing cameras at her and be like, hey, you, you little girl. In foreign language. Tried to console her, however, she was clearly I mean, it's good they found her life, her. as she didn't want to approach the strangers in the isolated cave. Yeah. Turns out the only good thing she's done, the only smart thing she's done all day, probably. Out that this girl was missing, ran was into missing? the eighth cave and crawled to the end of one of its. Deep Wait, she, they didn't even lose her in the cave. She went into the cave and decided to go into the deepest part of the cave with no flashlight. Brother, she's got bigger balls than most people, but brain kind of empty. Deepest tunnels. The girl was stranded. Alone in the dark, and looking at this angle of the only entrance to her location, yeah. I wonder if she would ever have been found if not for this group. She was led out and thankfully reunited with her hey, family. That's good. God damn. Okay, yeah, well, some yeah, some terrifying things were in this video. Some very stupid things were in this video. Some things that we just cannot explain. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. And I'll see y'all next time. Okay, bye everybody. Have a nice day.